What's going to happen with Sundance, the film festival? It is getting huge. We've co covered it for a number of years. No, yeah. But how does Park City even sustain this? How many films are submitted every year now? 12,000. How many are chosen? 160. How many people come here? 80 to 90,000. First year, 1985, to show you how things have grown, because I didn't think it was going to work. I was told it wouldn't. And so I just assumed it wouldn't, but I thought, well, not, why not try, you know? So we had one theater available to us, the Egyptian. It was kind of this rundown theater, which I thought was great, because it was rundown, you know? And then there were maybe three restaurants in town. So the first festival, I was out there with, maybe we had 25 films, and maybe five or six documentaries. I'd be standing outside the theater trying to get people in, you know, with people wandering around, maybe 100, 200 people wandering around wondering what, what's going on here, you know, and I said, why don't you come and find out? Now, I never dreamed, because I didn't think it would work, quite honestly. I thought, this probably is not going to work, but it's worth a try. Now that it, I think the thing that really kicked it into succeeding was um, Soderbergh's film, The Sex, Lies, and Videotape. Suddenly something happened that got enough word of mouth that moved things along because it started here before it went to Cannes and so forth. But what I never expected was it for it to, to grow to the size it is now. I, I never dream. Now I think they've got a problem because so many films, um, so little time, so little space, at the same time Park City is developing like crazy. So sooner or later, the, the, the twain's not going to meet, you know, it's, it's, there's going to be a crunch. I think it's coming. And so what would happen? I don't know what the solution is, but maybe it might be breaking up the festival. So you say, okay, you come in January, you come end of January like we have now, and you only show narrative films. And then maybe in February you have another section of the festival that opens up and you show documentaries. And you break into the third section and you have shorts and online stuff. So I don't know if that works or not. It's just something we're, uh, we have to think about.